I fear this day. And it finally happened. Sonic bendable figures. Really? You gotta be kidding me. I d At first I thought they were articulated action figures. Like, I thought it was gonna be worse than the articulation was gonna be just like the Super Mario figures from, ja from the same company. Man. Man, they're articulated figures. At least Tommy's is alright. That's not Jack Specific Sonic, that's Tommy Sonic. Don't mistake that. They actually they actually released those figures. They also come with the discs, but they're not they're not accurate. But why don't you just release the discs with the same character with the same character as the di is this why don't they just release the same character as disc and bendy figure? That's a pretty good point. I mean, Sonic should come with a Sonic disc. Knuckles should come with the Knuckles disc. A Tails should have come with with the Tails disc. And Shadow, he should have come with a Shadow disc. You see where I'm going at? It's pretty lame not to release fig, not to release figures as with. The same, the same, right this the accessory that's the same as the character. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. What's also pretty dumb is that is that is that Sonic is that classic Sonic is, has only plushes and statues of him. Well, while the statues are small, and yes, the plushes are in some kind of quality, and they don't even match with. With the artwork, there's it's supposed to be sorry, it's supposed to be corresponding with, and yeah, you can see where I'm going here. Supersonic looks nothing like like its artwork. Wow. Now, one thing I like about figures is that anyone can play with them. Not only adults can play with them, but but. Figures were usually targeted for kids. Yes. I said that. And now, I'm just gonna say this. Figures from G figures should be for everyone. Not, not just the Sonic, not just the regular old adult Sonic fans, but also kids that also like Sonic and want a figure of him. And since Tommy now doesn't have now doesn't have license, we may never see a Tommy Sonic figure on shelves anymore. At least not until at least not until Sega realizes that they screwed up by giving the license to Jack Specific and decides and decides to give it back to Tommy. Which should be a which is gonna be a miracle, cause I love their figures. They're so, of course you they break sometimes, but they're just articulated articulated figures for kids. As they targeted Sonic Boom for kids, they started their classic Sonic line is up is up the charts. <sighs> What I'm saying is, these figures suck. They're, they're supposed to be targeted for kids. Jack Specific t always targets their figures to kids. And if they target this for kids, it's most likely that that kids when kids can break bendy figures more often than they break than they break figures. Yes, I said it. These cannot be fixed. Unlike, unlike with Tommy's figures, where if you just break them, you could always hot glue them back together again. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. Maybe you could. I don't know. What I'm saying is, Bendy, these Bendy figures should go to Home for Infinite Losers. Yes, I made a reference. To, the, to Dragon Ball Z in a Sonic video.
Let's talk about Supersonic. Man, they met, they screwed up Supersonic's design. See this, Plush Wave 2? There's some artwork of Supersonic, and guess what? They actually screwed it up. First, let's look at what the plush is. Um, we're going to fix it, I guess. But it looks, Sonic looks, doesn't look like he's from Sonic X. He doesn't look like he's classic Sonic from Sonic X, I meant. Tails has a cute, cuter design, and he just, and he doesn't have that Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog orange. Knuckles, why is he pink? He's kind of pink, I guess. And he doesn't, and yeah, and they also fixed Eggman, so I guess I could give Tommy credit for fixing for fixing what they messed up, but still, GE is the master of plush, of Sonic plush design. I wonder if they fixed Super Sonic. Oh, can't be. Did they fix Super Sonic? Hold on, if you. Supersonic's gonna be coming out. But they, fi they fixed them. But they'll probably fix them up. Oh man. I'm glad I had to I had to bring it all out. Man, if I had to see Sonic If I had to see a, see a Sonic in Mario series I wouldn't be happy, actually. But guess what? Tomy may be returning to take one of Jack Specific's licenses, and will take like like Jack Specific took took their Sonic license for no reason. Cause, cause Tomy has something on their website that's pretty awesome. Super Mario. Yes! Nintendo officially made a deal with Tommy to release some some Super Mario merch. Hold on. I wonder if it's still up there. Please still be up there. It's not on there? Suck me. But I'll I'll give I'll give away some proof. Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog is still on there. I swear it's up there. What happened? Collectibles? Well, maybe not. Tommy actually released some figures. I'm pretty sure I knew know this. Tommy released Mario figures. So we may not be getting Sonic to return to Tommy's territory. But if you're a fan of Mario, I I do recommend Tommy making some Mario figures. It's pretty I yeah, Mario fans would be com coming to Tommy's here soon, so yeah, suck the Sonic figures and suck the Pokemon figures that that, have, that are being released. Yes, I said it. Suck the Pokemon figures that are just being released. Those suck. Except the Pokeball. The Pokeball is legacy. Please, Tommy, take back all the licenses. And now we can have some Crash Bandicoot toys from Tommy. Bye.